Hi, I'm Tim Teller, Canon for Music at St. John's Cathedral. I'm going to say just a couple words about the music for this Sunday, November 3rd. This Sunday we celebrate the Feast of All Saints, and this has long been my personal favorite um, feast day of the entire church year. And the reason for that is primarily because the music that is in the repertoire for this particular Sunday is just uniquely wonderful. Um, if I took probably my top 10 or 12 favorite uh, choral anthems, at least half of them would be All Saints Sunday anthems. There's just something about this particular feast day that really has brought out the best in composers throughout the, throughout the decades and the centuries. This Sunday's prelude is the Elegy in B flat by George Thalbenbaugh. Thalbenbaugh was a British organist um, in the early mid 20th century. He was prodigiously talented. In fact, when he was just a teenager, he gave the English premiere of Rachmaninoff's third piano concerto in, uh, on piano under the baton of Charles Villiers Stanford. And um, he's known primarily as a choral composer probably nowadays, but he also wrote a fair bit of organ music. The origin of this particular piece is interesting. In the 1940s, I think it was 1944, Thalbin Ball was playing organ for uh, a live Evensong broadcast in England. And it got to the end of the service and someone came up to him and whispered in his ear that he needed to keep playing because the broadcast needed a couple more minutes of music to cover um, the end of the service. And so he started to improvise and the result was this elegy. It's a wonderfully tuneful piece that has become one of Dalmo's most popular pieces for organ. Our offertory this Sunday is entitled, My Soul, There is a Country by C. Hubert H. Perry. This piece is taken from a collection of six, six acapella, meaning unaccompanied choral pieces that Perry wrote between 1916 and 1918 during World War I. And they are not only some of his final pieces that he wrote before he died, he died in October of 1918. So this was at the tail end of his life. They're also some of his very finest and most deeply moving pieces. They, he eschews the bombast that he's known for, anthems like I Was Glad and things like that. And these pieces are a whole different side of Perry. They really reflect a, um, an introspection and a, a spiritual seriousness about them that um, really sets them apart. And they're some of the finest um, choral compositions written in the 20th century, in my opinion. They, um, Perry was very disillusioned with World War I, no surprise, but he really took it personally. He had a lot of students that died in the war, and um, he also was a, always a lifelong um, a lifelong fan of German culture and uh, literature and music. And to see his country going to war with Germany itself was a, a real blow to him. So these pieces very much reflect that idea of a search for peace that um, may not be found in this world, but hopefully the next. The postlude this Sunday is a little toccata on a plain chant tune entitled um, Placare Christe Servulis. This is a plain chant from the Roman church that was associated with the Feast of All Saints. And Marcel Dupre, the great 20th century French organist and composer who wrote this piece, based a lot of his music on plain chant. He was very active in the church, in the Roman Catholic Church, of course, and um, steeped in the tradition of plain song. And so much of his, um, much of his work it uses plain chant as the basis of it. And this particular piece sets the plain chant in loud, long notes in the pedal against rapid manual figuration. And it makes a really, really effective postlude for a Feast Sunday. I hope you enjoy the music this week.